Sussex facing disastrous consequences after madly tit-for-tat for alternative royal court in America. It's been a tough few weeks for the royal family, since losing their much-loved queen and matriarch, and it's clear Harry has felt the loss keenly, with the prince looking extremely emotional as he attended the funeral with wife Meghan Markle last week amid a still troubling feud with his father and brother. Harry went home with a heavy heart. He's feeling lost and sad. It was a difficult few weeks in the UK, with a few embarrassing snubs from his relatives, but he also felt immensely proud to be British. It was an honour to be part of such a unique and deeply moving tribute to Her Majesty, and it made him sad that he's physically and emotionally so far away. The Sussexes stepped down from their royal duties in 2020 and have since embarked on multiple prolific projects all related to the royal family. Now that the Sussexes no longer act as working royals, they can no longer justify their current streams of income and will gradually lose their appeal until they become pointless. The Sussexes are on track to lose their popularity as they've left the royal family and have no justification for their royal related projects. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry should consider finding alternative sources of income if they don't want to become irrelevant. The former Liberal Democrat, MP Lembit Opik said, without some external justification for being famous, they can't sustain that. So what we're seeing here is this slow and inexorable decline from grace because they bit the biggest hand they could possibly to feed them, the firm. Now I don't know whether they're trying to reconcile with the firm or not, but here's a clue. However, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry showed they still want a place in the spotlight with their recent photo release. Royal author Katie Nichols said Harry and Meghan releasing the images was very deliberate. She claimed it was a reminder that the Sussexes are not going to be silenced as they pursue their new lives in the US. It was very deliberate. It was a reminder that there is an alternative royal court across the pond, and it's one that is not going to be silenced or quietened. It was clearly published in response to the picture coming out of the palace of the new Fab Four, Charles, Camilla, William and Kate. And this is a reminder that there are two other members of the family that still want a place in the spotlight. Not helping matters is the imminent tell-all book the prince confirmed he was writing last year. It was due to be published this autumn, but reports suggest Harry has pushed it back until 2023, over fears of upsetting his family yet again, so soon after the Queen's death. Questions were raised over the memoir last week, when royal correspondent Katie Nicholl released the book The New Royals, claiming King Charles III is seriously concerned about what his second-born will say. In fact, the 73-year-old also alleged to be waiting for the memoir's release before he decides if Archie and Lilibet will be given royal titles. But it's not just this book that the King has to worry about. As part of Meghan and Harry's $100 million deal with Netflix, and their $25 million deal arrangement with Spotify, there are TV shows, documentaries, and yet more podcasts in the works. It follows multiple bombshell interviews from Meghan as well as damning comments on her podcast Archetypes about her experience of the royals after marrying Harry in 2018. The former suit star recently warned, I can say anything, adding, it takes a lot of effort to forgive and I'm still healing. 